Murray, David McGurry, and the founding father served 4,872 days as the Prime Minister of Israel, something which I think many thought was an unbeatable record the Mideast over here in Israel to go ahead and hold on to the term for one full term is an amazing accomplishment. Many mul mu terms, multiple terms, and then bypass the legendary founding father of the country. Unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. But he's on the way uh, to who knows, maybe 5,000. See what the September 2019 elections going to bring. Either way, it's a crazy, amazing accomplishment. I know there's no shortage of people, of enemies of BB uh, uh, against him, attack him, and uh, all his policies. I always look at the bright side of people and see the good in the people, and things are not black and white, and to me, there's tremendous accomplishments that BB has done over here, and to his record, and to his credit, his father was a great historian of the Jewish people, and I, I truly feel that Bibi feels the weight of the, of the Kla Yisrael is on his shoulders, that's my feeling, Hashem is the judge, and then when he goes in and fights against the whole world regarding Iran, everyone, in Israel, everyone was against him, and America, and Obama, was against him when they were signing the Iran agreements and he went to speak to Congress and everyone said that's going to destroy Israeli American relationships to speak in Congress against the Iran agreement and against Obama. I don't think he was going to be popular. Everyone thought it was a horrible move for him personally and for the whole Jewish nation and he truly felt this is what's needed to protect the Jewish nation. And who knows, look what happened. Trump comes around and he reverses the whole agreement, backs out of it. The world sees Iran, the Rosham that they are, and he feels the way to the Jewish people. That's my opinion. And look what he's done. We're the eighth most powerful country in the world. Eighth most powerful country in the world. Do you understand what that means? Not per capita. Now we'll compare the fact that we have 6.3 million Jews based on, no, objective power, monetary financial, military, economic, agricultural, etc., based on objective facts and figures. Eighth most powerful country in the world. You have India, America, Russia, Germany, and Israel on that list. It's insanity. That was based on his economic reforms, his policies, not always popular, but he has a major role in that. Of course, the out of the Shemaya. I don't have a curse I told to that. The, the quote, settlement blocks are the number one growing areas in Israel. Even the Gaza Belt communities are growing faster than other places in Israel, faster than other, places, other Western countries. He has nothing to do with that. doesn't get a curse to Thanks for that. Yes, many people can point out all the criticisms, which, of course, it's fine to discuss areas that need to be improved, but not to see the brachos. His policy with the Palestinians, everyone went ahead and said, if we don't make peace with Palestinians, just give our arm and legs away to the Palestinians, make concession after concession after concession, like Obama and like other previous presidents, keep giving away, giving away, everyone's going to love us, we'll be the darling of the world. So Bibi says, no, 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 hold on, you're saying we have to give away everything to make peace with the Palestinians, and then we can have peace with the world, we can have peace with the Arab Gulf states, and everything's going to be fine. Hold on. Let's just keep becoming a superpower, super economic power, high tech power, anti terrorist power in terms of cyberspace and anti terrorism and all that. Let's become a superpower and people will want to be our friends. The international community and the Arab Gulf states, because they're going to realize that they're going to have to fight against Iran. They can't do it by themselves, they need us. And therefore, we'll put on the side, making a deal with the Palestinians. We'll leave it on the back burner. I'm not going to officially say we don't have any plans to have peace with you guys, but that's not going to be the agenda. And guess what? How many billions and billions of dollars is just Japan alone? There's 600 high-tech companies in Israel just focusing on the automotive industry, and Japan is so close to us for that reason. Because Toyota and other high name brands, Toyota's number one car company in the world, and BMW in Germany, they're all working with us for the self driving vehicles and mobile eye. So BB said, forget about making peace with Palestinians. Don't think that's the main thing. The main thing is becoming a superpower, and then people are going to want to come to us. And that's exactly what's happening. 
So, in this mini shear, in my opinion, time to make a lachaim to Bivi. His dedication to the nation, his serious nefes to the nation, building of the nation, making us into a superpower, and just as a financial, uh, gosh, we're a superpower. And ain't lechem, ain't Torah. There's no bread, there's no Torah. So spiritually, we need the physical in order to keep moving along spiritually. And spiritually, we are growing. All the sectors, the Dati Lumi and the Sephardic and the Haredi, religiously, there's the Moshuls and Yeshivas and Kolos at any time in history. So there's a lot of factors involved. And hopefully, without that, we're nothing. But to me, this is time to say thank you to Bibi. Hakar Satov to Bibi. And in Yitz Hashem, you should have the ability to continue to go ahead and provide for the Jewish nation. And you should just have bracha and hatzlacha. And thank you. Shalom.